Hey everyone, my name is Kyle McGuire and I'm the Programs Director for South Huron Land Trust. And today we're going to go to the Conservative Landon Community Trail in South Huron to learn how to measure the height of a tree using only a stick, a tape measure, and a little bit of math. This is a trick that foresters and their outdoor professionals use to get a quick idea of a tree's height. It's not perfectly accurate, but it gives you a pretty good estimate. And if you do the measurement three or four times, you can take the average, which gives you a pretty great result. So let's jump in. Step one is to find a tree. You can choose pretty much any tree, but I suggest choosing one that's about 20 feet tall or taller. You want on pretty level ground. We've got this nice oak tree right here, right along the Landon Trail. So you've got your tree. Now you have to find a stick. You wanna find one that's about the length of your arm, as this will be important later. So, um, you're gonna find your stick, and there I am, making sure that it's just about the same length as my arm. You can break it to make sure you know, it's, the, it's the right size. So step three is to create a right triangle. To do this, plot your arm parallel to the ground and hold your stick perpendicular to your arm. Now you've created a right triangle with the three sides being your arm, the stick, and an imaginary line between your eye and the tip of the stick. Okay, so now look towards your tree. Move forward or backwards until the tip of the tree aligns with the tip of the stick in your outstretched hand from your perspective. Now you've created a larger right triangle between yourself, the tree's base, and the top of the tree. The distance between the horizontal and vertical sides are going to be equal. So what does this mean? It means that all we have to do is measure the distance between us and the base of the tree, and voila, we have the height. Now, if your tape measure isn't long enough, count how many steps it takes you to go 10 feet, then divide 10 by that number, and you have your average stride length. My stride length is 2.5 feet. So let's count our steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. So all we have to do is multiply twenty-six times two point five, which is the length of my stride, and we get sixty-five feet. And let's add my height too, because our triangle wasn't on the ground. So that's gonna be six plus 65 is 71, a 71 foot tall tree. That's it, super easy. Now again, if you wanna be more accurate, uh, you can do the same exercise from a few different angles, you kind of go around the tree and do a few different ones. You'll get slightly different numbers each time. And uh, you, can, you can add up all of those results and divide by the number of times that you took the average um, and you'll get the total or <laughs> you'll get the average. Um, so that's all for now. Um, thanks so much for watching. Let me know how it goes. And uh, yeah, you can reach me down at the bottom there. All right, thanks everyone.